Are you struggling to get a good night's sleep? You're not alone. About 30% of the global population suffers from sleep disorders, and many of us have trouble falling or staying asleep at some point in our lives. Lack of sleep or poor sleep quality will have negative impacts on both mental and physical health. Poor sleep can cause problems throughout the body with noticeable effects like low energy levels and the inability to concentrate. But also, lack of sleep can have more widespread impacts like high blood pressure, weight gain, decreased immunity, low testosterone and can negatively influence your mood. Fortunately, there are natural ways to improve sleep, and one of the most effective approaches is through supplementation. Before starting any supplements, you should first make sure you are incorporating sleep hygiene practices, like keeping a dark room and avoiding phone use immediately before bed. Today, we'll focus on the real and powerful enhancements supplements can have on our ability to fall asleep and improve the quality of sleep we receive. The majority of the supplements we'll discuss are also touted by Dr. Andrew Huberman, a tenured professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford University School of Medicine and host of the Huberman Lab podcast. First up, myoinositol. Myoinositol has gained attention for its potential to address disruptions in sleep patterns, including waking up in the middle of the night. Myoinositol is a naturally occurring compound classified as a B vitamin and is a precursor to neurotransmitters like serotonin and melatonin. It plays a role in regulating the sleep-wake cycle. Myoinositol supplementation may help stabilize neurotransmitter levels promoting a more consistent and uninterrupted sleep. By supporting serotonin and melatonin synthesis, myoinositol can help maintain deeper sleep stages and reduce instances of waking up during the night. For those who have trouble falling back asleep after waking up in the middle of the night, myoinositol can be life-changing. At doses of 900 mg, myoinositol has been shown to help shorten the time it takes to fall back asleep. It also has other beneficial uses such as improving mood and regulating blood sugars that we will discuss at length in an upcoming video. Number 2. L-theanine. L-theanine is another great supplement for helping you ease into sleep. It is typically taken in dosages of 100 mg to 400 mg, depending on body weight and experience with the supplement. L-theanine, an amino acid found in tea leaves, particularly in green tea, is known for its potential benefits in promoting relaxation and improving sleep quality. It's important not to try to supplement L-theanine from green tea as the caffeine in most teas will disrupt healthy sleep. Theanine exerts its effects by influencing neurotransmitters in the brain. It increases the production of gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, a neurotransmitter that promotes relaxation and dampens neural excitability. GABA has an inhibitory effect on the central nervous system helping to calm the mind and reduce anxiety, which can be beneficial for those struggling with insomnia or difficulty falling asleep. Additionally, theanine has been found to increase serotonin and dopamine levels, contributing to an overall sense of well-being and aiding in the regulation of sleep-wake cycles. Its calming properties without causing sedation make theanine a popular choice for individuals seeking a natural and non-habit-forming supplement to support better sleep. Third is magnesium threonate. Magnesium threonate is a specific form of magnesium that has been suggested to have potential benefits for sleep due to its ability to cross the blood-brain barrier more efficiently than other forms of magnesium. Once in the brain, magnesium threonate is believed to enhance magnesium levels in the central nervous system, influencing various processes that can positively impact sleep including mild drowsiness. This mild drowsiness can help with falling asleep quicker and having deeper sleep. Magnesium is an essential mineral involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body, including those related to neurotransmitter function and regulation of the sleep-wake cycle. It plays a crucial role in the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes relaxation and helps counterbalance the stimulating effects of the sympathetic nervous system. Research suggests that magnesium deficiency may contribute to sleep disturbances and supplementation with magnesium, including magnesium threonate, may help address this deficiency. Magnesium is also known to interact with GABA receptors, promoting the release of GABA. This interaction can help reduce excitability in the brain and promote relaxation, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. 
Lastly, epigenin. Epigenin is a bioflavonoid and a natural compound found in certain plants, particularly chamomile. It has been studied for its potential benefits in promoting relaxation and sleep due to its interaction with the central nervous system. One of the key mechanisms through which epigenin may influence sleep is again through its interaction with GABA receptors in the brain. Epigenin appears to bind to GABA receptors, which can enhance the inhibitory effects of GABA, resulting in a calming and sedative-like effect. Research has suggested that epigenin may also have anxiety-reducing properties, further contributing to its potential sleep-promoting effects. Chamomile tea, which contains epigenin, has been traditionally used as a mild sedative to promote relaxation and improve sleep. So, what is the best rational approach to taking these supplements? It is best to try each supplement separately for a week to see how it affects your sleep. This allows you to understand which supplement works best for you and adjust accordingly. If none of the supplements work alone, you can slowly begin trying combinations or increasing to the maximum recommended doses. However, if you experience any negative effects from the supplements, it is crucial to stop taking them immediately. Before we wrap up the video, we should discuss arguably the most common sleep supplement and one that should be avoided, melatonin. According to practice guidelines from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine and the American College of Physicians, there's not enough strong evidence on the effectiveness or safety of melatonin supplementation for chronic insomnia to recommend its use. So number one, it is not very effective. Secondly, melatonin is a naturally produced human hormone rather than a natural herb or compound found in nature. It has many biological functions outside of the sleep-wake cycle and can cause hormonal imbalances with consistent use at high doses. The primary evidence to support melatonin use is to combat jet lag and regulate the sleep cycle of shift workers. In conclusion, Lack of sleep can have detrimental effects on our physical and mental well-being. Fortunately, with the help of natural supplements like myoinositol, L-theanine, magnesium threonate, and epigenin, we can improve our sleep quality and get the rest we need. By following a rational approach to supplementation and listening to our body's responses, we can find the right combination of supplements that work best for us. Remember to consult a healthcare professional before incorporating any new supplements into your routine. Sweet dreams.